1953, good luck. White's just gone green. 2,500 games of Rapid, that's very, very good. I've done 150 something, I think. Um, okay, still got D5, what am I on? 174 I'm up to, actually. Um, yeah, keep it traditional here, just take back. So what do I want to do with this bishop? This is kind of normal in the Karo. But do I try and get this bishop out? But we might do something like this. Hmm. It depends how aggressive my opponent wants to be. I'm going to risk this. It's, it's whether he wants to go queenside and fly down that way. But I'm going to take a risk and keep my bishop here. Okay, has that given me one or the other of these? Hmm. I'm threatening bishop up with a pawn forward, which you don't normally have in the carol because the pawn's normally here. I'm going to play a bishop. I've prepared a castle, but there is a simple threat there. So do I want to play that in any event, or take even? I don't think I do. I'm just going to go here. Knight across, I'll just drop the bishop back. So he's attacked my bishop. So I will come back and offer to trade it. Okay, so he's developed. So I think rook across makes sense here. I don't see anything better. Okay, we trade the bishop. Now he does attack my bishop there, so I assume I just want to drop back here. I don't see anything else. Queen up feels like it's getting a bit dicey. I'll just drop the bishop back. Hold on. No, I can't take that way. I've got to take it over like you normally would. Taking that way would really weaken this pawn. But it feels like we've just about equalised. In a perfectly nice position. Yeah, white normally has the pawn on d4 in the carol, so he's now put it there, but he spent an extra move doing it. So can we attack that immediately? I don't have queen here. So I'm just going to play rook across with a view to pushing the pawn forward. I'd like this knight out of the way, then if I push takes, I could have maybe pushed again, but it doesn't quite work, I don't think. Hmm. How do we do this? Knight up takes, takes, a little bit risky. Knight out wide and he might take here, but otherwise I've got queen up. Hmm. Do I push is a question. It might weaken this quite badly. I'm just going to push a pawn here and try and gain some space on the side where I've got a minority. So I'm going to push the pawn and threaten to push again. Oh, he's allowed me to push the pawn forward. Not necessarily without risk, of course, but it is a potential move, and I don't see why I shouldn't, so I'm going to do it. If takes, I'll capture with the knight, I think. But the queen is perfectly fine, offering a trade. If I go with the knight, he's probably going to have to push. So take, 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 pawn forward. I'm going to retreat, then this is loose. Hmm. Actually, yeah, maybe the queen makes sense to me here. I'm going to go with the queen. Oh, there's something just bothering my eyes slightly there. Now, where do I want my queen to go? That seems sensible, but I can go here and support my pawn. I'm just a little bit on the fringes then, but... I'm going to go here anyway and keep pressure on this and try and come behind my pawn. Maybe pop it on the dark square initially. Stop this. The knight guards... So what's he looking at doing with that knight there? I'm not quite sure. I'm going to shuffle across to hit this pawn. Okay, he's gone across. So let's queen up a move and encourage him forward. Take, take, take. King comes up. That's interesting though, isn't it? Interesting. So here, up, take, take, take. And he's got a pawn blocking my pawn. I can double the rooks up immediately, and it should be good. Hmm. Let's just waste the move and do it, see if he does it. He might play a move like bishop back and just drive me back, and I've just spent the move, but I've got his bishop further back if he does that. But he might go for a gamble like this. Two rooks for a queen. He has indeed gone with a bishop, so I need to just come back. So where do I want to go? I think I go here. I've maybe allowed, actually... 
a bit of a problem, haven't I? Because he can take my knight and then undermine the defense of the pawn. I'll have to bring the rook across. Hmm, might have been a slight mistake there. Well, queen across. Okay. So does that invite me to go forward now? This is still a potential problem, but here, here, knight across. At least it's giving us some gameplay, isn't it? I'm going to do it. Get the knight forward. There's pressure on the pawn, hopefully. Try and put pressure on. Bishop down is a bit of a nuisance, which he's done. So obviously I need to guard my knight, so I've got to go here or here. So I assume that the dark square is where I want to be. Oh, but now everything's getting a little bit loose. I've got to be really careful here. Like he's got rook across, but maybe I can take, maybe I can't. Maybe knight back and pawn up. Oh, I'll do no. Rook across, I've got knight here to attack both of them, so that might be a blunder. Hmm. Just wait and see until it's my move and then worry about what I do. Oh, he has launched his pawn. So he's going to get an isolated pawn here. But have I got knight here to pressure this and then here as well? Knight here, where does he go? If I take, he could go with the rook, so that's a slight issue. I guess I can simply drop back, and then he's got a pawn here. And actually, once I've traded, that feels like I'm actually in a pretty good position. So here, takes, back. Takes, takes, rook across. I can play queen up, so my queen is then guarded, and my knight is still double guarded, and that feels fine to me. My pawn's not doing anything here, so I'm going to take there and see how he takes back. The queen might force a queen trade. Oh, he has gone with the rook. Okay. So there's no trickers that he can take with the queen. So I'll just stick to plan and drop back. Then I think I need queen c7. I can't go to e8 because of the bishop, but c7, my rook would guard. Oh, he's just doubled up. Okay. I don't want to take and advance his pawn for him, so I don't want to do that. So maybe just rook across to hit the pawn. Let's go here and threaten the pawn. Got to be careful about getting my queen pinned, though. And here, and he's got check threats, and it feels like a checkmate threat, that. So, actually, knight across now. Takes, takes that, and get rid of that knight. But this knight, I must remember, is very, very vulnerable. Have I got knight here now? Oh, I've got knight here and force the bishop off, but then I walk into that pin. Hmm, what about rook across? He takes my knight. Knight across here to charge. This knight could be good, and then I've got a move like f6, but then this pawn is loose. So here, if takes, takes. If rook down, rook can drop back. Hmm. I might be blundering, but it feels playable to me. I could take, take, and down and back. And I think I can drop this rook back as well, but this pawn might be getting lost, potentially. I'll pre-move in case he takes, and then if he gets some sort of battery lined up, then obviously I might have to shift, but he's got this, so that's a problem. So I need knight here or knight here. I want to charge this knight. Hmm. How do we do this? How do we do it? I guess I could risk maybe queen to f8 so the rook can drop behind. But there's no easy path for the king because of the pawn structure. Well, he's moved up, so maybe I've just got the simple queen up now, and then I'm threatening knight across. But what about rook across now to hit the pawn with a root of rook forward? Or even just a simple knight up now. Takes, rook takes, I'll lose this. So I'm looking at rook across. That feels sensible to me. A move like queen down, then I'm fine to step up because there's no immediate threat here. Queen here there might be. But maybe I can just step the queen out of the back rank where. I'm going to go here and hit the pawn. 
idea to get queen up and then if he checks I can block with the rook and the queen's not in a direct pin on the back rank. Okay, he's played queen forward, so he wants me to take to play down here. So have I got any tactic here? I don't think I have, but I think I do have king up now, or even just a simple queen up. Let's play king up. So now I'm threatening to actually win the pawn. Okay, so he's looking at rook across, so I've got rook up to counter that. Then he's got rook down, then I've just got the simple queen up. But if he checks... I can go here, right? What's wrong with rook up here? Rook up, rook down, queen up. I think I've got rook up here and I can just simply take back. Take with a queen, I think, to keep the pawn split and then my knight guards my pawn. If down, I think just queen up. I'm getting low on time here now. Okay, he's played this really quickly. But there might be a chance of a trick with knight here at some point. Rook there is a move now, but it doesn't really threaten to actually take. So there is no threat to take, is there? So I think it's just a simple queen up still. Now if he doesn't trade, I'm threatening knight across to try and get rid of the knight. Let's pre-move in case he does. Yeah, something's bothering my eye, I don't know what it is. So he's dropped the queen back, but now surely I've just got knight up and I can three attack, two defend. He can't move his knight here. Check, takes, takes, isn't really a threat. I think I just play knight forward. Now three attack it and two defend it and he can't move his knight because of the pin. So I could potentially take and drag his pawn across. But it would be better to grab the pawn if it's possible. Ooh, that's got to be a mistake, surely. Have I got knight takes now with a view to coming here? Or knight back to hit the rook with a view to rook takes? Surely he's in a lot of trouble. Knight back with a view to grabbing a pawn. I'm going to do it. I'm going to hit the rook and hit the pawn. He might be perfectly fine. And it breaks the pin on his knight actually. So maybe I should have been better taking. But we're going to find out. Oh, if I just allowed... No, rook up I go here and I hit the queen and the rook. Rook down I go here with the knight. Oh, he's done it. So hasn't he just blundered here with knight up? What am I missing? Hit the two. I think he's blundered. Oh, he could just take. I just missed that he could do that. But I can take here and still hit the pawn and the queen. He doesn't have queen down to guard. And my queen's getting active now. But I'm two minutes down on the clock. He's playing this too quickly. So he's guarded, but at the expense of this pawn. But he can take this. But that feels like I'm getting a passed pawn. Oh, I can take this one first, actually. And if he takes here, he's still loose. I think I'll take here. If he takes, I can still take this one. So he's pushed it. But can't I just... No, I can't quite check. I can check with the knight... I'm going to check first. Takes, knight takes. The knight check. I'm going to go back with a check. This is risky, but I'm going to take. 
I'm hoping I can throw a check in. Oh, I can't if he goes. I can't if he goes. I can't if he takes. So he can actually take. Can I grab this pawn and guard everything? I can knight check again. And then drop back potentially. But I might be going wrong here. So why can't I just take here then? I think I have to, don't I? And hope I'm not blundering my knight. I'm too low on the clock this game. He's played this very quickly, but I have got a checkmate threat if he misses it and he plays a random move. There is a check threat and he has to go back and there's a back rank mate issue. He might be fine though if he goes here and he can block. He might be fine. It's whether I can triangulate and win the knight. Well, he has gone back. So he's threatening a discovered check. Nasty. And he's attacking my knight. I don't see a move. Knight back. Yeah, I think I'm just lost here somehow. There must be a try. Oh, it's checkmate, is it? If he checks with a knight, he wins my knight. I have to go forward on your legal move. So he can at least take the knight if he doesn't see anything better. I have to play quickly. I'm just down on time. I guess I can just shuffle here, though. He can't win the queen, I don't think. So I should be a draw if I can play quick enough. be a draw if he does it again. Okay, that's a draw well played. 